No, hold on. Before we get started, I have to itch my nose. Okay. okay. I am Cody. I am one of the co-presidents and co-founders of Active Minds. And I'm Morgan. I'm the other co-president and founder. Active Minds is a club that we've started here on RIT's campus. We work to end the stigmas associated with mental illness and educate and advocate for them among the student body. I think it was the fact that from both of our backgrounds, um, mental health has been really important to us. I even remember Cody and I sitting in Global Village and talking about how there's nothing really on campus for mental health and how the counseling center wasn't getting people in quick enough to get help. There's Active Minds chapters all throughout the Northeast and we found that there wasn't one really in our area. There is one at U of R but we wanted to get one right here on campus. We did meet some challenges along the way here at RIT. Um, some administration issues, some issues with the club center, but in the end, I think it was all just misunderstanding of information, people worried about people stepping on each other's toes. Once we established that we were something different and something new on campus, something that really hadn't been done before and wasn't being done at this point in time, but needed to be done, everybody really opened their eyes to this idea and they kind of just welcomed it as another necessity on campus. So far we've mostly done tabling and this upcoming week we are doing National Eating Disorder Awareness Week. NIDA, the National Eating Disorder Association, hosts a week-long awareness week for eating disorders from the most like common ones like anorexia and bulimia to EDNOS, which is eating disorders not other specified. We are planning on putting up posters on all the mirrors tonight with little simple like inspirational messages on them. We are going to be tabling for three days in the SAU and our meeting on Thursday night is going to be like based around informing like our members about eating disorders. But I don't think a lot of people know what goes on inside the brain when you have an eating disorder and some people have even said to me like, oh you choose to have this, but I can tell you firsthand it's not a choice to have anorexia or bulimia. This picture is an MRI of two brains, this person is normal, healthy functioning person, and this person has bulimia nervosa. For four years, I was anorexic, and I would basically like starve myself every day to the point where standing up would take me like five minutes because I'd be so dizzy. Coming to college was a really big change for me, so I think the anxiety from that and I had just gotten out of an emotionally abusive relationship. I took that on myself in a new way, which was um, making myself throw up. I wouldn't eat, but if I did eat, it would be in secret and like really like massive quantities of food and then I'd make myself sick because I couldn't think about having all those calories inside me. At that point, I thought having a thigh gap was the best thing in the world. I would look at myself in the mirror every morning and be like, oh wow, it's getting bigger. And, like, my legs are so tiny. Um, and when this was taken, I was going to the gym around, like, I was going twice a day. I got up really early to go to the gym, then I'd go late at night, and I'd be running, like, 16 miles every day just to, like, try to lose weight, which I obviously didn't have. It can happen to anyone and you won't even know it. Like my friends last year looking at me wouldn't have known that I was going in the bathroom like five times a day and making myself sick. So you just really have to watch and like just be there for them. 
just being there is the biggest thing. I don't want to have to hide what I've dealt with for five years because I've like found out that being ashamed of having an eating disorder or having two is like there's no point in being ashamed of it when you could use it to help someone. For me when I heard about Active Minds their main like motto is changing the conversation about mental health. For me that's really important because a lot of people think it's something that should be shamed of and like you can't talk about it. Eating disorders falls exactly into that category and I just want with Active Minds to help end the stigma of anyone who has an eating disorder and they're looked down on and also make it something that people are more comfortable talking about because especially in this age society is causing so many more young women and men to have eating disorders and for me I don't want to see anyone else go through that. I would say he's a good coping mechanism. Aren't you Brutus? He needs something to help him cope at the moment, I think. Personally, I know a lot of my life I struggled with depression, um, and a lot of the people around me, especially in high school, did as well. So I knew coming into college that I was going to be with a broader group of people. There's going to be a lot of changes, and I knew with myself that it wasn't something that was just going to go away. I personally did not get help when I first came to campus. I had gotten a little bit of help when I was in high school, but I didn't really know much about the resources on campus. I didn't really educate myself and I didn't feel as educated as I could have been when I came here. In my second year, me and some of my friends also saw that it was becoming an issue. You gotta come here, buddy. Me and some of my friends saw that it was becoming an issue and it was starting to really interfere with my life. So I took the step to reach out and get help. Um, and then right around the same time was when we saw the opportunity to start Active Minds. In elementary school, it was like, oh yeah, no, I have to go meet with my counselor. You got pulled out of school and you went and saw your counselor. And I was like, oh cool, have fun. Like other students were like, oh yeah, cool, that's great. They get to go see a counselor, awesome. Like students then, with, before they really had that negative connotation with it, think it's like oh cool they just get to go it's like a special time for them like great and then they get to middle school and it's like oh you're seeing a counselor and then you get to high school and it's like oh they're seeing a counselor living with depression on the good side it's motivated me to work for example with active minds and it's really motivated me to be kind of a personal activist for things um, really trying to educate the people close to me and the people that I know about the disease and other diseases similar to it, um, other mental illnesses, just to make sure that they understand. And I feel it makes me feel good to know that I'm helping the, those close to me know more. But on the bad side, it's hard, it's not easy to live with. Um, it is a disease. It's no different than a physical disease. The more educated you are, the more you know about the topic, the better you're going to know whether something's true or whether something's not true, and the more likely you're going to be to feel comfortable talking about these things. Welcome to this week's Active Minds meeting. Woo! Um, thank you guys for coming. Thank you for coming. You know, we set up children with pediatricians and dentists and all these things that they see regularly just to make sure that they're doing okay. Do you guys have the same opinion about mental health? Seeing a therapist or seeing like a counselor is like a little taboo like you only go if you're like crazy and you're like on all these different meds and you're like you know talking to cats and stuff like that's usually what people think. I think about this stuff too but like everyone bringing their ideas forward it helps me know that like I'm not the only one who's dealt with this type of stuff and I like see that there are a lot more good people who are thinking about mental health and like want to stop the stigma. I don't know if things would change like you go to the doctor and they're like do you, does anyone else get those surveys at the doctor yeah yes. and you realize like are you depressed yes or no and it's like yeah. well, I don't know. but um it's like they like i know there's things on there that i know apply to me and i check no just because i don't want to get into it with the doctor um and so like I like I don't know if people would like 
check no at the counselor, you know what I mean? Once um, it was like, do you have trouble making decisions? And I left it blank and I told the docs like I couldn't decide. I feel like we're just like a book club for mental health. <laughs> <laughs> Did you read chapter 15? Right? <laughs> I got involved with the club because I think it's a really great cause and mental health affects everybody one way or another. Um, I know I know I myself and friends of mine have all tried to overcome a lot of things and it's a great place. It's really welcoming. I like wanted to join a club that I was passionate about, but I also wanted to meet new people. I think I got a lot of good friends out of it. So um, I'm really happy with it and I hope it gets a lot bigger. Well, I've always been like passionate about mental health and like trying to spread the word and get things out about it um, because it's affected me and some close people that I know. So um, I, I really like to use this as kind of an avenue to do that. And so far, um, we're pretty new, but we've already gotten some things off the ground that I think are pretty beneficial. If I could see into the future, hopefully all of campus would be a member of Active Minds, which I know is impossible, but that would be really awesome. I highly doubt that it'll just disappear somehow because everyone has mental health and everyone in some way, I bet, has been affected by someone who's had a mental illness or a mental disorder. So everyone can relate, and that's kind of the common tie that'll keep this club going. I was standing by the sea, shall outside.